Hello everybody, welcome back, c -Ray Tech here, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of tinkering that I'm going to be doing, and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway because I was uh, pretty happy with the results, and I have two, so why not? Um, as many of you guys have seen in my previous videos, I used to fly with the Tactic RM2 goggles. Um, they're a good set of goggles, they're a little bit heavy, um, they do provide DVR, um, the monitor you can separate from the goggles, which is nice. Uh, but I had some problems with the monitors, so <clears throat> uh, mainly the battery was what was going out in them, and it wouldn't charge, and the indicator for the battery's charge was inaccurate, and there was a few other issues, but um, one thing that I did want to do is make use of these monitors. I had one with a bad backlight. So that really uh, was irking me because I wanted to be able to use it. I mean, I've got a good 5.8 gigahertz receiver with a DVR that's collecting dust. That's kind of bothering me. So I figured best best way to go about it is to maybe replace the LCD or get video out. So <clears throat> I hit the internet and wasn't really able to find a LCD for the price I wanted to pay and that had the correct ribbon cable. So kind of shelved that idea and went back to the whole video out and um, <clears throat> that was also at its challenges uh, being able to find a data sheet was really difficult um, I was actually only able to find a data sheet on the actual module itself but um, yeah so here's the mods and here we, here it is working so the first thing I did was I got rid of the battery I'm using a 1,250 milliamp hour uh, battery that I had connected through JST and then I've got my video outwired in. So there's nine pins on this to your left and the last two are the ones that you're going to need. It's going to go pin eight will be your video and pin nine will be your ground. Sorry I covered up this with hot glue so it would stay. I'm using the, I didn't snap the back on, I'm just using some Velcro to hold the battery on and then also to attach it to the back of the monitor. But yeah, this thing works great. Um, being that the backlight was dead in this monitor, it made it pretty much useless, but now I've breathed some new life into it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys it in action real quick. Yeah, I was pretty impressed. I mean, I was hoping that I would be able to find a data sheet on this, but, you know, through trial and error, we ended up getting it figured out. So, as you can see here, we've got some FPV. One thing that I did notice with this is on my TV, upstairs, my Vizio, I do notice some lag. But with my uh, little TV down here, I don't have any problems. And I'm not sure what that is. Could be refresh rate, could be a number of things. But, um, yeah, so like I said, I've got an extra one of these, so I definitely want to hand this out to one of you guys, give, do a giveaway. Now, um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide what the best way is going to be to do the giveaway. I've been doing uh, randomly selecting the comments for the users uh, who comment on the videos, and I think I might stick with that, but if you guys have a better idea, definitely let me know. But yeah, I'll be giving away this monitor, which has video out. Um, it does have DVR, and uh, I've wired in a JST, so... When you receive this, you will receive this here with a rubber ducky antenna. Um, I will not be shipping it with a battery as it costs more and I can't ship it uh, through air. It has to be ground. So let's keep that in mind. And I'm also going to do this for, uh, I apologize, but I'm only going to be doing this for my U.S. viewers, mainly because shipping costs so much. Now, um, if you guys would like to pay the shipping for anybody overseas who uh, enters, you know, I'm would be more than happy to send it to you, but like I said, it, it can get really expensive. So, um, yeah, I want to give this away, and I hope you guys uh, find this to be pretty cool. Like I said, uh, don't give up on your parts. I mean, if it doesn't work, there's there's going to be a component or there's going to be some part of it that you can still use. In my case, I finally got the receiver working on a larger format monitor, which for me having this in my office and being inside, this will be making, uh, making my indoor flying a little bit more fun. But I think that's going to be all for me today. If you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to leave me a comment. Um, like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and if you guys could share my videos, that would be, you know, that would be even better. But, um, yeah, I think that's it. So, uh, 
yeah, stay tuned for some future videos. I got some more builds, tinkering, uh, reviews, flight footage. Um, I got a bunch of stuff coming out soon. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, as always, guys, fly safe and fly often.